Hello, this is Walt Smith on Plymouth Renaissance TV, back for a special week of Walter's Glass Half Full. Pep edition, without further ado, let's have a look at some of those comments. Jack Jones Parker, yeah, just stick to the actual delusion. Guardiola is going to move to your pathetic small tin pot club. There's no genuine evidence the rumours are true. I mean, they're called rumours for a reason. Deluded Man City fans for you. <laughs> well, that one certainly came round to bite you on the backside then, didn't it? Once Pep had actually decided that he was going to join an English team, a lot of fans from other clubs decided he wasn't going to join little old City. We didn't actually have enough history, enough fans, or indeed Spanish lager on tap at half-time. Of course, all these reasons are just non-footballing reasons, and, well, utter nonsense. If you actually have a look at some of the options that were open to Pep and the clubs that he could join, we'll see what they could offer him. Let's kick off with Chelsea. They would have welcomed him with open arms. Roman Abramovich, well, he'd have soon shown him the door after the first bump in the road. Champions League football at Chelsea looks about as realistic now as Wayne Rooney's hairline. Chelsea are quite simply just a sacking club. Arsenal, well, the owners there just seem to be quite happy fleecing their fans with high ticket prices and false hope. The Arsenal owners have actually just been happy fourth place trophy and, well, the odd FA Cup win. Just so long as the hard earned cash by their fans keeps rolling in, they're never ever gonna match Pep's ambitions. That's United. <laughs> There's a club in turmoil. If them guys don't actually qualify for the Champions League this year, they're gonna have to throw a ton of cash at, quite frankly, a poor and underperforming squad. The club actually seems to lack any coherent plan or vision since David Gill and Alex Ferguson walked out the door. Rumours of a 15% cut to the academy is never gonna persuade Pep to roll up at Old Trafford. Always living in Fergie's shadow, with him up there looking down from the stands. But a transfer policy that's like a last minute supermarket trolley dash, there's no planning going on there. So to sum up, I actually believe that Manchester City were the best option available for Pep. Pep is actually gonna be able to bring in some of the absolute top players in the world. Folks, the future's bright, the future's sky blue. Vintage one. The Premier League is gonna expose Pep for the fraud he is get spoon-fed world-class players and coached in non-competitive leagues. <laughs> Mate, Barcelona hadn't actually won anything for two years when Pep rocked up. They actually finished third in La Liga, a full 18 points off the pole position. In his first season in charge, he completely overhauled the playing style and the tactics. Barcelona actually went on to smash their way to the first treble in their history, winning La Liga with a 28 point swing. Pep took one look around that Barca changing room and he got rid of Ronaldinho, Deco and Zambrotta. He was, and he still is, not afraid to get rid of the big names to actually benefit the team. Let's not forget that Ronaldinho at the time was seen as the linchpin that actually brought a success on the Frank Rijkaard. It was a bold and brave move by Pep to show this Ballon d'Or winner the door, but it was for the benefit of everyone. He brought a whole new fresh approach to Barcelona, but let's get it right with a club at the time in decline. To suggest that Pep actually had everything handed to him on a plate is either stupid, naive, or just plain trolling. Zulvis Dijks Jr. He is a coward. <laughs> he won't take a job unless the team has the best squad in the league. Bayern and now City. He left Barca as soon as it got tough. Grow up here, Pep. <laughs> Calling Pep a coward is very naive in its extreme. Fingers crossed he could actually become one of the only coaches in history to actually win three Champions League and still people are questioning his ability. Ferguson, Clough and Arrigo Sacchi never actually managed to win the Champions League three times and they're all hailed as geniuses. And the bit that gets me most giddy is you can feel this is just the start for Pep. And folks, He's doing it at City. He could actually have another 20 years in this game if he chooses. Pep will actually be the fifth youngest manager in the Premier League when he comes. Some silly folk actually say that he took over Bayern Munich just because they'd won the treble. When he actually signed the forms for Bayern, well, nobody's won anything in January. To actually take over a club that can only go down, I feel is a brave move because he's there, well, quite honestly, to be shot at. When Pep actually signed the contract with Bayern, they'd not won the league in three years. It's Pep who's actually turned the German league into a one-man show. Fans of Chelsea, Arsenal and Manchester United are just scared that Pep is going to turn the Premier League also into a one-man show. Fans of other teams that are actually calling Pep a coward should get behind their team, so, well, see if you can take him on. It's square 77. I've lost all respect for Pep Guardiola. I don't think he'll be bothered, mate. Manchester City are just a bunch of glory hunters. <laughs> now, folks, I never thought I'd actually see the day that a Liverpool fan would actually call my team 
glory hunters, how the tides have changed. Comments like that actually show you how far Manchester City have come, and that, folks, gets me giddy. City were actually made for Pep, a bit like Lennon and McCartney, fish and chips, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Well, you get the picture. City can enhance Pep, and Pep, well, he can enhance City. But what can City offer Pep? I'm glad you asked. The academy is actually arguably the best youth setup in the world. Pep actually loves to work with youth and he's the ideal coach to get these fellas straight into the team. Which ideally could actually turn out to help England in the long run. He'll have the resources, well, cash to me and you, to actually build a team in his image. So in the famous words of S Club 7, we're reaching for the stars. He'll actually get full backing from the board. Well, after all, they've got their man. So that sums up another week of Walter's Glass Half Full. Pep Special Edition. Now, if you can think of any players that you'd like Pep to sign, well, comment below. Oh, time for another.